Hi, Captain Raps here, and we had another great day of fishing down in Chukaluski, Florida, and today we got to catch some mangrove snapper. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make a great blackened mangrove snapper using my Marco Rico blackening seasoning. And then we're also going to put uh, some pouches together on the grill, and we're going to put in some sweet potatoes and onions along with the Everglades City All Y'all seasoning. I'm going to cook those on the grill, and it's going to be a yummy meal tonight. So join me and watch how it's made. Okay, so first we're going to assemble the sweet potato and onion pouches, and it's really easy. We've already gone and sliced up our sweet potatoes uh, into some pretty thin slices. Um, that's smaller than a quarter of an inch, maybe about an eighth of an inch thick. And then we've sliced up our sweet Vidalia onion. So we're going to make two pouches out of what we have here. These are two sweet potatoes and one onion. So I'm going to go take about half of the potatoes and just stick them on the aluminum foil. Okay, that looks like about half. And then I'm going to take about half of the onions and do the same. We're just going to put them right on top, spread them out a little bit. So now on top of here, what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of olive oil on it. And I'm going to say about a good tablespoon per pouch. So uh, sometimes when I'm measuring, I like to just kind of put a little in the lid of the uh, olive oil and then we can just drizzle it on there. And that'll help it cook up real nice. So once we do that, then we're going to put about a tablespoon of the Everglades City All Y'all seasoning on there. And the All Y'all seasoning is uh, a very low in salt seasoning. It has a lot of great taste to it, and it actually has a little pinch of sugar and cinnamon in it, so it goes fantastic with sweet potatoes. So, again, I'm not going to measure it exactly, but we're going to put about a good tablespoon of the seasoning right on the sweet potatoes and onions. Right there, that's probably about good. So, since we're going to be putting these on the grill and they're going to be steaming in here, we want to go ahead and kind of seal them up pretty good and tight in the pouch. And that's one pouch. Okay, so now we are going to season our snapper, and I'm going to season it with my Marco Rico Caribbean Blackening Seasoning. So uh, it's a really nice blackening seasoning if you like blackening. Um, the one nice thing about it is that it's not as hot as many as you can get on the market. I've always liked a lot of blackening seasonings, but so many of them are way too hot to eat. I kicked it back a few notches, so this one is, is, is warm. So again, what I'm going to do is, uh, this is low in salt, so you're not going to get too much sodium on it if you kind of just pour it on there. I'm going to measure it out, you know, a little bit, just sprinkle it on there. I don't know, maybe a teaspoon on each side of each filet. And the seasoning, the Marco Rico seasoning, what I've done is I've had the individual spices ground down to a fine powder so that everything adheres to the meat really nice. And you see how that coated it on there really good. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, it's ready for the grill. So we have our grill preheated on about a medium level heat right now. The pouches that we assembled with the sweet potatoes, the onions, and the Everglades City All Y'all seasoning are going to go on just for about 15 minutes. And again, you want to do that on a medium heat. So let's put them in there and we'll check on them shortly. Okay, so right here we have our seasoned snapper with the Marco Rico Caribbean Blackening Seasoning. We're going to put it in a pan here with some hot olive oil and to cook it for a few minutes on each side and get it nice and crispy. Okay, so the snapper's been on the grill here for about uh, three or four minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip it and let it cook for another three or four minutes on the other side.
So the other side of the fish has been cooking now about another three or four minutes. I'm going to test if it's done. And we're going to do that by sticking the spatula in there. If it flakes apart real easily, that means it's finished. And that's it. It's definitely done when it flakes like that. You don't want to overcook it. It'll get too dry and kind of chewy. So this way it'll still be moist. And we'll go ahead and take it off the grill now. Okay, so the sweet potato pouches have been on the grill about 15 minutes. They should be done. We're going to check on them one more time, get them out of the grill, put them on a plate. So here they are, just sizzling away. And yes, those are definitely done. Okay, so we'll take them, just get them off the grill, put them on a plate. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to plate them up along with the snapper that we blackened with the Marco Rico Caribbean Blackening Blend. And so we can go ahead and open up one of these pouches. Oh, that smells delicious. It has that Everglades City All Y'all seasoning on it. I'm just catching a little bit of that cinnamon that's in there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and plate up the snapper. And we're gonna have a good meal. There you go. Okay, we're done cooking our meal here. Again, we did the uh, snapper with the Marco Rico Caribbean Blackening Seasoning Blend and we did the sweet potato pouches with the Vidalia onions and we did that with the Everglades City All Y'all seasoning. So uh, again, if you'd like to book a trip with me, Captain Raps, I'd love to get you out on the water in Chukaluski, Florida. Please log on to my website, CaptainRaps.com. We'll get you out there, catch some great fish, we'll talk about some recipes, and we'll tell you how it's all done. Also, if you'd like to buy some of my seasonings, you can log on to my website for the seasonings, and that's www.captainrapsseasonings.com. Thank you.